Across the state, emergency medical services are struggling to keep their doors open and help the people they serve. And tonight we continue our week-long KCCI investigation, Essential. KCCI Chief Investigative Reporter James Stratton introduces us to a family and a department that wants the service considered essential statewide. James? Hey, St Stephen Stacy, this is Harrison Smith. He's no longer with us. He died due to an allergic reaction to tree nuts in early 2020. It took an ambulance 18 minutes to get to his house because there was no closer unit. His mom now and the director of public safety in Van Meter want to make sure this never happens again. A mother's love knows no end. Um, he just, uh, he was very driven to be successful and um, he cared about other people. Even when the end, has already come. He enjoyed everything. He loved sports. He loved, I mean, he really loved basketball. And then he kind of gravitated towards baseball and he still liked them both. He liked to try new things. Harrison, a senior at Van Meter High School, was allergic to tree nuts, but hadn't had a reaction for years. He ate something, he felt strange and um, came home and um, tried to handle it on his own. Uh, he called 911, I pretty much, we think, um, immediately when he got here. While he called 911 immediately, an ambulance that could save him did not come immediately. It took 18 minutes to get to his home south of Van Meter. He called 911 and thought it was gonna save him. And it didn't. The reason is something that Mother Melanie learned while her son's life was on the line. Part of us, not that we don't feel like the people, that were here failed Harrison, but the system we feel like failed Harrison. Here's how the system worked then and still does now in this area. When Harrison dialed 911 while having that allergic reaction, three EMS services were called. Van Meter, Dallas County Ambulance, and Adele were both dispatched immediately. A Waukee ambulance was called about 10 to 11 minutes later to see if it was closer than the Adele ambulance. Van Meter Police Chief and Director of Public Safety William Daggett and his department investigated the call after. It took 17 minutes for my first response unit to get there and like 17 and a half, 18 minutes for the ALS unit to arrive. That 18 minutes is still within Iowa's EMS system standards, which says you should expect an advanced life support ambulance within 20 minutes if you live in a rural area. Daggett says that is incredibly too long to wait for an ambulance to show up. Van Meter has a basic life support ambulance, EMTs who can do first aid and CPR, but do not rise to the level of paramedics or an advanced life support ambulance. When you call for our rescue unit, we're going to be able to put bandages if you're bleeding. We're going to be able to stabilize your neck, uh, do basic first aid. Dallas County Ambulance in Adel and Waukee are both advanced life support ambulances. Basically, what you picture an ambulance to do, they can do it. Everything to save a patient while taking them to the hospital. If you're in trauma and in pain, um, that's the people that can do the advanced life-saving stuff. Dallas County paramedics were the ones who took Harrison to the hospital, where he took his last breath. On a nice day coming down the hill to our house, we can see sometimes Des Moines from here and we can't get an ambulance, you know, here before 18 minutes. Chief Daggett says it boils down to EMS uh, becoming essential in Dallas County. The Iowa law passed last year allows counties to deem it essential, take it to the voters for a referendum to raise property taxes to properly fund the service, which according to Chief Daggett, would put an advanced life support ambulance in Van Meter. My deal has always been, why do the citizens that don't live in the two metro, metro areas in Dallas County or in Waukee, why don't we get the same service as these two? And it's because as little brothers, it's all about funding, being an essential service. And it's the only emergency service that's not essential. No county has deemed EMS essential and taken the tax referendum for a vote following the law's passage, though some are in the process. Smith and Daggett believe a statewide determination to make EMS essential is the solution to saving more lives. The people we depend on to save our lives are not seen as necessary by the state, by code. It needs to be essential and we don't want to see anybody else have to suffer 
go through the grief that we've had to go through. Now, Daggett requires all of his fire and police personnel to be certified EMTs, his way of making sure his department is prepared as possible because he doesn't have that ALS ambulance in Van Meter. Now, throughout this series, we've talked to you and talked to a lot of rural departments. Keep in mind where the Smith family lives, well, it is rural, but it's only 10 miles from, say, Jordan Creek or a little more than 20 miles from downtown Des Moines, right where we stand right now.